install Visual Studio Community Version 2015, open up a browser, and just Google download Visual Studio Community 2015, and uh, go to www, select the one that says www.visualstudio.com downloads, click on that one. Visual Studio Community free download. Download starts, a very uh, small file. That essentially downloads everything, so this one just uh, downloads the installer. Run. Open it and then click on Run. And click on Run again. Security warnings. And then uh, the setup starts. Um, there's only one thing you need to do, and then the rest of it will be done automatically, is that you have to go to the custom, not default, and click on next. And uh, because uh, this is for uh, core C++, C, C++ subjects in Seneca, you must select Visual C++ <clears throat> as programming language. So again, go to custom, expand programming languages, click on Visual Studio and that's going to select everything that you want and click on Next. Then it asks you this is if this is what you want or not. <clears throat> the rest everything goes by default just click on Install and confirm that uh, you want this program actually uh, ch make change to your computer and you have to wait for it. So it is going to download <clears throat> Uh, the Visual Studio from Microsoft and then after doing that uh, it's going to start installing it so that's going to take a while. I'm going to pause the recording and then we're going to continue after the, the download is finished. Okay, uh, as you see it took around uh, uh, an hour and uh, five minutes on my virtual machine to download Visual Studio Community 2005 so you give yourself a good hour for this download and installation to to complete itself and then you can click on launch and that's going to bring up Visual Studio you can sign into Microsoft to share your settings with all different instances of Visual Studio that you have or just say not now and maybe later and then click over there. Now you can select different types of color schemes that you have. I'm used to the default one and development settings. If you put on general then uh, this part actually uh, sets up what uh, the Visual Studio is prepared to do more quicker. So if you think you're going to be in Visual C++ stream more often, then you can put it on Visual Studio, uh, Visual C++, or you just simply put it, leave it on general. And start Visual Studio. Okay, it will take a couple of minutes to, to start it, and uh, here it is. So I'm just going to test it. I'm going to click on New Project. Uh, as you see, by default, it comes on Visual C Sharp. I'm going to go to Visual C++, Win32, Console Application. Uncheck the Create Direction for Solution browse to the directory that I want to create it. I'm going to put it in OB244 and I'm going to call it test. Set the application settings to blank. Empty project and it's going to create the solution for me. Again, the reason that you see it so slow is because I'm right doing it on a virtual machine. There we go. Now I'm just going to close these that I don't need. OK, right click on source files, add new item. Program.cpp. Add. 
do a little test. IO stream. And then I'm going to run it. Control F5 or execute. Compile and run. Do not show this again. Yes. It will build. Compile. And done. Thank you very much for watching.